Nail Salon No Nose. I know, the name's a little annoying, but this is a good subject. We're gonna dive in the client side, nail tech side, right now, biz talk. <laughs> a little, a little laugh. You sound like a little bird. Like, it's like tweeting. <laughs> Does that make you laugh? What am I, a clown? What have I joked to you? <laughs> am I funny? Ha ha. What am I funny? What? Um, nail salon no nos. Trace, is that? It's it's got a little ring to it, right? It does make you laugh. That's funny. That title makes you giggle. Nail salon no nos. No no. No no no. no. It's kind of like you're talking to a kid almost. Like nail salon no nos. No, no. It reminds uh, me uh. Jurassic Park when that he comes up and they're trying to bypass his password and oh, all that, yeah. and he's all. Uh, 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 uh. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Uh, uh, uh. that's his own no 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 yeah 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 Yeah, that's funny um i like this topic because we're gonna talk from the client side we're gonna talk from the nail tech side all little no-nos that uh go on in the salon and if you're a client maybe we're gonna give you a few no-nos that maybe you shouldn't do and if you're a nail tech some no-nos also because we want you to build a nice business and if you're doing some of the no-nos you're going to make it difficult for yourself right or wrong tracy right right thank you (laughs) yes took it took a second to agree with me she doesn't like to agree with me but it's it's um, hard it's like everything in my system's like (laughs) no don't do it um let's first talk from the client side uh i how about this why don't we name them like almost like a little game? I'm going to name one, you name one, I name one, you name one. Okay. Uh, nail Salon No Nose. And then we can expand on them as we need. But I'm going to take the first one, which is which is very easy. I'm going to take top, which is if you're a client, no, 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 do not be late. Correct? Easy. Yes. How annoying is that though? When a client, not even annoying, but how much does it like mess up your schedule if a client is like consistently late? It it does. Yeah. It, it just it it ruins the flow, and then you're sitting there stressing about the next client that's coming in, and then uh, and then you just start getting wound up. And what I find is when I'm trying to rush, then I purposely for some not purposely, but for some reason, all of a sudden I'm going slower because I'm oh, like interesting. worried that I'm rushing too much that maybe I missed some. Yeah, it just messes with you. Messes and then the, the next flow. client comes in ten minutes early. Now you feel like you're twenty minutes late. <laughs> well, maybe. maybe it's- <laughs> Jesus, I have anxiety right now. My God. I mean, it's Xanax. <laughs> Jesus, man. Um, okay, another one. Oh, my turn. Um, if you're a client, we're doing clients, we're doing right? Clients. Uh, client, no, no. <laughs> client, no, no. Oh, my God. Don't come in sick. Don't, don't, don't. come in sick. Yeah. No, no. Especially now. No, no. Right? Yes. Big one. Just that's a simple one. All right. If, if you're feeling under the weather, just look, don't come to work. Okay, don't even come to work, work if you're sick. You got that, Jorge? If you're sick, just don't get actually, out of bed. Jorge, don't come to work. Just period. Just as a rule. <laughs> he's like, yeah, boss. He's out. I know he's excited. He's out. Um, okay, my turn. Uh, if you're a client, don't talk on your phone during a service. Correct? No. No. Do not agree. Oh, interesting. That's not a client no-no. No. But depends. But aren't they? What if? Okay, explain. So I never had a problem with my clients being on the phone as okay. long as they were on a headset and or uh, okay, I. Okay, so oh, you, you got rules. Yes, there's rules. Okay, to it. so it's a yes and no. Okay, all right. So I'm not totally off. No, and and some people have the rules straight out. That's fine. Yeah. Um, for me, I enjoyed my clients on the phone because then you don't have to talk. I didn't have to talk, <laughs> and I could just do, and it was amazing. So yeah. the rule is, as long as your hands are free. I okay. need the hand, and then I need it the moment I need it. And two, as long as you're not disruptive. Right, like it's on speakerphone yeah. and everybody can hear the conversation yeah. going on. Yeah, it's not like a hairdresser where they have the phone up to here and not, it's in your headset or whatever's in my way. It's like, yeah. as long as I have access to your hands, you're not annoying, please talk all you want. Okay, so so let's, let's we'll clarify. It's a no-no if you're like this or on speaker and you're like switching hands mm-hmm. and messing up the nails yeah. because you're picking up the phone, like big no-no, right? Big no-no. Otherwise, yeah. if you've got earbuds, AirPods, whatever, and you got the phone and you're just like chatting away, nice and quiet, nice, nice conversation too, not talking about 
you know, inappropriate. Got so ripped up last night. <laughs> Dude, you want to know what I did? <laughs> Check There's this illegal out. drugs involved. <laughs> That's, I want to hear that conversation though. I want to. I want to hear somebody describe their night by <laughs> saying there were illegal drugs there involved. A, yeah, <laughs> hey, Gary. You know what? There were illegal drugs involved, bro. You know what? It reminds me of the really, really bad um, school say no to drugs, and then it's just the yes, you know yes. You know, I think the TikToks are hilarious. That the biggest dis- disappointment of high school was realizing that drugs weren't as available as everybody said they were. <laughs> you know, Jesus. you know, you watch those old drugs videos. Like yeah. every time you walk by someone, hey, you want drugs? Yeah, you want a hit? It's like who? No, yeah. that doesn't happen. That would be in that video. Let's. Would you like some illegal drugs? <laughs> Illegal drugs were involved in our group <laughs> gathering the night of yesterday. Uh, um, okay, another sorry. another no no. I, I did that one, so it's your turn. This is a was no no for me. Um, every salon has their rules. Rules. No children. Okay. Okay, but that's not for everybody, right? That's not for everybody. So you I have to the know the rules. It's not for everybody. You got to know the rules. Yeah. Okay, yeah. but no no small humans. No small humans. Um, and I'm gonna, unless they couldn't. Let me clarify, because I was cool. If you had a kid uh, and they sat in the, the lounge area and they were on their iPad for the With whole... headphones, th- yeah. And didn't say anything or do anything. Were there iPads when you're doing nails, though? Let's, yeah. let's No, ask. they had tablet, not... Uh, yeah, that's, 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 you know, that's, that's, they, the old kid games and stuff like that. On- like Game Boy? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Let's, let's clarify, because... Shut up, Habib. <laughs> same age. We're not the same age. Oh, you're, you're, you're younger. <laughs> <laughs> that makes a difference, man. When you're, when you're, how old are you going to be? Fe- uh, Feb- in February, I'm going to be 48, so I'll be the same age as you. See, we're not even a year apart. Um, no, but you're still older, older than me. At their age, at like Kira and Jorge's age, it doesn't matter because you just mix it all up. At our age, it matters. Oh, it starts. It starts yeah. to matter. It's like when you're 19. I'm almost 21. You want to be older, yes. and then as you get past in your 30s, you start going backwards. Yes. Yes, exactly. Sidetracked. Okay, Next. my turn. My Go turn. Client both. side, um, do not, while you're getting your nails done, please do not keep looking at, pulling away and looking at your nails, correct or incorrect. Correct. Like straight up, that's a no-no. Like, there's no argument, right? I used to say, I just kind of let go. <laughs> I'd say, who do you think it's more important to see your nails right now? <laughs> you or me? Would you say that? Oh, yeah. oh that's funny. <laughs> Like, oh, sorry. Yeah, sorry. I, I'm the worst client ever. That's why I don't look. If you notice, Greg does my nails or Melissa or whoever, I look away. No, no, but I've seen you. Uh, you know what? It's funny because you'll sit there. I, I, I see you like. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, totally. Especially if Greg's doing them. I'm yeah. Like, you want to like check them out and see. <laughs> <laughs> I have to look away. So I get it. Yeah, I totally yeah, yeah, yeah. get it. Yeah, that's but, funny. Yeah. Okay, let's do one more on the client side and then we'll jump to the nail tech side. I feel like there was really one. Oh, do not, please, do not show up to your appointment and tell us you can't afford the appointment mm. and ask if you can pay later. Please don't. That's a no-no. That's a no That's no. a big no-no. And yeah, it, don't do that to did, us. Did you get that often? I or? had it every, until every everybody, you know, finally. Because at first, I didn't know how to respond. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. And then you never get that money. You never get yeah. that money. Or you got to chase post, it down. This, this is going to show my age. Can I post date a check? Oh my God. Yeah. Yes. Dude, speaking of aginess, I posted the other day on our thing and said something about VHS tapes. Nobody knew what it was. There was people asking what that was. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're old. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. But please don't come to your appointment not prepared to pay. Yeah. Because, again, nails are not a kidney. You can live without them. Right, right, exactly. And, um, I mean... There's those rare times where, like, if you're consistent and you're always paying, and then there's that time where you're like, oh, my God, I forgot my wallet. Or, like, you oh, legit, like, yeah. obviously, that's not what we're talking about, yeah, right? but, uh, like, one of our friends who forgets his wallet every time we go to dinner. A little bit different. A little bit different. A little bit different, little exactly. bit di- And don't be a first-time client and do it. Yeah. Because that's just impression. sus. Yeah. <laughs> Super I'm, sus. I'm hip. Yeah, you hip, girl. <laughs> Sussing it up. Um, okay. How about from the nail tech side? Mm-hmm. Uh, this time you'll start it off, uh, in terms of no, no's, what's a big no, no on the nail tech side. I'm going to steal your first comment. Show up on time. Show up on time. 
I don't think, I think it's probably one of the worst things you can do as an LTAC is to not actually be there for your appointment. Yeah. yeah. I mean, this is your business. This is your business. Right? Like you the should be impression. Ready to I mean, it happens. It ha- Things happen. Accident, time to time. Whatever. Right. It happens, you know. Um, but, you know, are you known not to be ready for your client? That's a problem. That's a huge, huge issue. You cannot do that. Okay. Uh, on my side, big no-no for an LTAC is going to be not knowing your pricing. And mm. I'm, I'm going to categorize that in, in the same way of um, let's mix that together with like being too scared to like tell your real real pricing and so you kind of act like an uncertainty yeah. with pricing i think you're is bad. asking a question versus telling them how much correct so uh an example of this would be like somebody's like oh how much was that and you're like well it's like bad oh yeah right yeah. there bad. They, they, all of a sudden you are you you've lost kind of credibility yes they're gonna question your pricing well is it different for other people exactly there's a difference between Ninety dollars <laughs> yes. or ninety dollars. Yeah, exactly. That's ninety dollars um, for the for the set, and then you didn't. It comes with one, one color, and and you're good to go. Yeah, and Done. and that's it. Done. So you got to deliver that with confidence, and and like Tracy says, they smell blood. It's the shark in the water. You know, if you are uncertain about your pricing, the client is going to know. They're going to smell blood, and then it's it's not good. So you got to know your pricing. All right, Great. you're up. Um, there's so many, (laughs) (laughs) there's so many, not being professional, not treating nails like it's a business. Right. And there's so many different things when it comes to that. You know, one thing I can think off the top of my head, inappropriate conversation, inappropriate music, uh, dressing like you were kidnapped, thrown in your trunk and went to work, all kinds of, you know, there's, you know, uh, yeah, there's, Let, let me ask you this. I think this is an interesting topic. Some people might argue that we are unprofessional because of, like, I want to define what professional Mm -hmm. is, right? Because some people could watch our videos or even, you know, see me twerking in a video and say, (laughs) (laughs) I apologize for that, by the way. (laughs) I apologize for it too. Some people could watch that and be like, what the hell is this? This Is the owner of the company? Mm -hmm. And like, that's unprofessional, right? So like, let's define that a little bit to make it more clear because we don't want people to not be themselves, right? 100%. Right. 100%. And you're not going to not offend people. Someone's going to so, get offended. Someone right. gets offended by you breathing. You right. know, it happens. What, what I mean by that, like some people could say that I wear ripped up jeans to work, that that's not professional. Right, right. There, there is, there's a fine line. It's, did you literally crawl out of bed? You're wrinkled. Do you have, you Correct. know, your hair in a bun? You have makeup. St- that we, you guys know the difference. There yes. is, I, I, I think joggers are cute and professional. Like I could go to a hair salon and they're wearing a cute jogger set and they have it, you know, it's a package. It's a package. So there's that. Um, are you cussing like a sailor? Right. You know, or did you happen to say, I'm not going to cuss because mom watches sometimes. Hi mom. <laughs> um, you know, darn it (laughs) you know you know like like, come on you know someone might be like oh my god that was offensive like come on come on you know are you listening to music that maybe doesn't it's not elevator music but are you listening to um gangster rap that's saying the f word every other you know there's the there's a fine line between it's my right right you know yeah don't pump pantera on on there where it's like effing hostile yeah like all, I mean, right? There's just well, you can, and you'll find a clientele for it, but you may not have other coworkers. How about the, their uh, their clientele? You try to find a medium ground, you know. Yeah, I I I think it's um. There there would be a clientele, so like you could pump, you know, hip hop, you could pump metal, and you would have if that's your vibe and you're willing, like this is me, but I'm gonna like. I'm going to show up on time. I'm going to do sick nails. I'm going to charge what I'm going to charge. I'm going to take care of my customers. And so you build your professionalism around that. That can totally work, right? But if you're like, it, 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 it really depends on 
like what you're going for, right? It, what you're going for and who else is involved because right. I've seen so many nail techs who are booth renters or work right. in a salon and it's like my right, it's my right. No, it's not your right to offend my clientele, to offend me as the other nail tech that works with you. Like I'm not hypersensitive. So if you are, if I feel like you are just, I've had, you know, a girl in the salon that booth rented for me come in look tore up from the night before talking about how she got so wasted and in this fight and my clientele and the other nail techs are just like whoa yeah, you not know, professional not, not professional, professional. Yeah. so you you have to you know I, you know yeah i think sometimes we get so caught up into what our right is yeah um and what i do and who i am that we forget that um you're trying to speak to a wide audience well and that's the thing right if you want more if you want to put on the music you want if you want to put on whatever you want uh you can get your own space like in a uh what, do they, what do they call them salon um, suite salon suites yeah. get your own salon suite and that way you know but if you're in a like a community space um where there's other nail technicians and like like a hair salon right i mean you don't the hair salons can't pick what exactly what they want and that might be up to the salon to establish sort of the 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 community the rules for the community space of like hey this is all here this is the music that's going to be played on um x y and z just in in terms of booth renting is concerned right yeah but um you can if you want to do your own thing I mean, probably the move is to get your own suite. Yeah. You know, where yeah. it is probably going to be a little bit more expensive, but private. Yeah. You can do what you want. Do what you want. Yeah. You'll build a clientele around it. Yeah. I don't exactly. know whose turn it is next, but I... I think it's my turn. Okay. If I'm not mistaken. So on the nail tech... Wait. Wait, I did pricing. You did... Yeah, professional. Yeah. So it is back to me. So on the nail tech side, um, what would... I say is a big no, no, (laughs) Um, (laughs) not having your uh, procedures clearly laid out for your customers. Okay. Procedures as Uh, maybe procedures, not, not the right word. The, your rules policies policies that's what thank i was going to say next that's too. it policies yeah. thank you not having your policies clearly laid out and communicated to your clients yeah. like I think is, like is the kid huge, thing like the kid thing is that's it a, a perfect rule example. is it not a rule don't get upset if someone brings your kid if you haven't you know uh what do you call that made that a rule yeah. and a, a, a known rule right. it can't be a, just a you know random thing like oh i didn't know i'm sorry yeah you know? exactly and you you we've done a ton of episodes on that you can look up you know biz talk uh policies i think there's going to be a few videos come up watch those videos i think it's really important but y- you got to have those dialed in and set if you don't it's going to be like it's going to be mayhem wild west it's going to be wild west yeah. exactly yeah you're next mm, you took mine Let's see, as a nail tech. Oh, um, I would say as a nail tech, you want to be prepared. Mm. Preparation. And what I mean by that is, do you have your products? Are you ready for you, whoever's coming in? Are you taking from other nail techs in the salon? I've, th- this is uh, kind of maybe a, a no-no nail tech in general, not just against your clients, but don't be that person who Steals is- Steals products. <laughs> don't be a great they're, they're, they're thieves like Ooh. <laughs> there are thieves in the salon and uh you know so you know if, if you have a business be prepared to do business yeah exactly that's uh being organized, organized. yeah be organized. and having your stuff straight is highly underrated you know what i mean and um i think that's important you can't you can't be that no, oh, that's so annoying. Yeah. Somebody that's constantly borrowing or constantly taking yeah. products. My, I had a rule in our salon that I didn't care uh, if they borrowed from me, but it was uh, a, you got to replace it. And yeah. It's so frustrating as a tech when you go to use something that you know you have and you don't have it. Dude, I used to, <laughs> that reminds me of like when I was in college, I used to, my roommate, I would like take his, like I'd be like out of clothes. I didn't have anything. And I would borrow his shoes. I'd borrow his dude. I'd just, I would just take his Birkenstocks and wear them. Ew, <laughs> dude. He uh, called one time. 
he called he he paged me because it was pager and I, I went to <laughs> now the, you're dating yourself yeah I totally went to the library I'll never forget this I called him on the payphone and I was like hey what's going on I called me are you wearing my effing and I was like yeah and he's like don't ever he was so pissed and and I I couldn't process why I mean, so like I took his shoes, you know what I mean? He wore you them. You couldn't process. No, I couldn't understand. I was a dumb kid. I just could not understand it. Wow. To me, I was like, oh, you can take borrow my stuff and I'll borrow your stuff. But and you just said you had no stuff. I Well, that's the thing. I had very, very, <laughs> very, very minimal stuff. And he had, I would take his t-shirts and it was just oh, awful. Oh my God. Anyway, don't do that don't in, do the, that. in the nail salon. Yeah. Uh, last one I'm going to say is um, really don't a. a Probably one of the big no-nos is like don't underestimate marketing, mm. you know, as part of building your business. You've okay. got to pay attention to it. You've got to take it seriously. We've done a billion videos on marketing yourself as a nail technician, social media marketing. Please look at those. Watch those videos. If you underestimate it, you're giving just you're wasting time and you could be building your business so much faster and more efficient. I have one more. Throw it in. Do not give your attention to other things when your client is sitting in front of you. Oh, that's a huge no-no. I see that no, a lot. No. It's like you're on the phone, you're text messaging, you're getting up, you're doing something else. It's a good one. And your client's just sitting there going, I guess I'm just not that important. Yeah, that's, you got to give them the attention. Full attention. I mean, that's full of, that's customer service, that's being professional, yeah. right? Giving, being attentive. This is a service industry. You've got to do it. Yep. Let us know in the comments below if we missed anything on the client side or on the nail tech side. We'd love to hear about it. And also any ideas for new videos in the comments below, please. Tracy, thank you. Thank you. Thank you guys so much. We will see you next time on the Biz Talk.